Buddy, it's Roger and James here from the Disney Kingdom Podcast. In this episode, we're going to be talking all about all the rumours from the past couple of weeks of that Lucasfilm are kind of putting all of the standalone Star Wars movies on hold, following the unsuccessful kind of box office run for Solo, a Star Wars story. Now, the rumours came around at the beginning saying that they were on hold, then Lucasfilm then turned around and said, no, everything's still in progress, these are all just rumours. And so at the minute, we don't really know anymore. Um, I personally don't think they're on. I don't think they're on a hold. I just maybe think if they maybe are slightly readjusting what they're doing. I, I don't think they're going to put everything on hold. I think that would be a bit too much of a stretch. Yeah, I mean, keeping in mind, of course, that none of these movies have actually ever been officially announced. Mm-hmm. We're we're still kind of assuming that there's a Boba Fett and an Obi Wan movie, but the Disney has not come out and said they were working on them uh, before this or after this. Yeah. Um, having said that, I do think that the idea that they would just can the Star Wars side stories, the anthologies, uh, no, I don't think so. They, they, even if Solo is a flop per se, but <clears throat> going by Disney standards, you know, again, we talked about this yeah. last week. Um, no, they're, they're going to keep pushing forward these cause it's still a franchise. It still sells toys. Maybe not as much as they would like, you know, we talked about that too a, a while back, but no, they, they they need to keep Star Wars fresh in yeah. people's minds. Uh, and also, yeah, <laughs> I'm just going to throw this in. Is that a thing of like, we've had two Star Wars story movies, Rogue One and Solo. Rogue One took over a billion. It was a big success. It was a, you know, everyone loved it. It was a big critical success. Toys weren't quite so good in all the merchandise and stuff. But, the, but they've had two movies, one of which was a massive success, one which they're going to make money on. They'll still make money on this. It's not a... A loss. This is not a John Carter kind of territory here. Um, this is that kind of thing of I think. I think this is where it's all getting mixed up with this like this trend with the like the Last Jedi of bashing Star Wars and the fans are all fighting against it as remake and all this. And it's almost like I think there's like a, a feed on the fact of there's a load of people out there just wanting Star Wars to fail and they're wanting something to grab onto and kind of felt a little bit like that because I don't really, I, I'm not sitting here going, well, no, an Obi-Wan Kenobi movie is what we've been after for years. Boba Fett, etc. This should be good. Do they need to adjust? Do they need to learn from some of the mistakes of Solo? Yes. But I don't, you know, don't, it ain't going to can a lot. I mean, there's too much money on the table. There's too much, not only box office, but merchandise. The merchandise is where they, is where they make the money and the, and the resellability of other things. The overall content, it's not just about that box office hit at the cinema. That's not where they make money on everything. It's, it's the home video, the mar- the after effects, the, you know, the merchandise. That's where they, the television rights, the box, the, the pay-per-views, all this kind of stuff, that's not just about that single box office. Right, and there's also a factor, or many factors, that you can't put into monetary terms. Simply keeping the name Star Wars active year after year, not having a two-year gap between episode 9, 10, 11, etc., brings in money that's not directly tied to the movie because it keeps people aware of the brand. You see this in comics all the time where they will publish a book knowing it's not going to make money, but because they've got to keep the trademark up or because they just need to remind people these characters still exist. And it's kind of the same thing here. Now, that's only just a small part of it. Um, Obviously, you know, we, we can, you know, bag on... Uh, the business side of all of these movie companies, Marvel, Fox, yeah. Universal, etc., where there is a, a a disconnect between the creatives and the business people, the money pinchers. But we we also have to keep in mind the money pinchers know what they're doing, yeah. and it's not just going, oh, Solo did poorly, therefore all future Star Wars will do poorly. It's you know. They've got their analysts going, well, it came out too close to Avengers Infinity War and Deadpool and Jurassic World, or probably not the last one, mm-hmm. but, uh, uh, and it came out too close to Last Jedi, and Last Jedi caused controversy. So we yeah. like to pretend that the business people don't really pay attention to that, but they, they pay yeah. closer attention than people think. And then, you know, also, I think there are a lot of lessons from Solo, as you mentioned earlier, that they will look at some of the ones I just mentioned, and then other ones, you know, uh, they let the first director 
kind of have his way a little too long uh, by their perspective. Either they need to, to kind of be like, all right, we don't really like what you've done, but you're this far along, you might as well finish it. Or alternatively, earlier in the process go, this isn't the direction we want. Sorry, we're going to pull Ron Howard in or, or whatever. So I, there are lessons here. You know, Disney business is not stupid. They'll learn from them. But at the same time, uh, I could definitely see them going back to the drawing board with Obi-Wan, Boba Fett, you know, Yoda, whatever <clears throat> other movies they have in production, and just going, all right, we need to take a good, long, hard look at this. We need to. T- these are the objectives for this movie financially, creatively, how it links into everything, and we could see an overhaul of the story <clears throat> department. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's going to have an effect, but I think the... I think kind of the concept that they're all on hold and they've all been, there's too much money. There's going to be, you know, they're going to want to, and also a lot of this stuff to me about like the Han Solo, this Yoda and Boba Fett. And a lot of this as well is about keeping the classic trilogy characters relevant to a new audience. That's what all this is about. This is all about making sure that kids today know who Darth Vader is and know who Obi-Wan Kenobi is and they keep buying those merchandise and, Basically reinventing these characters, so making sure that next, it's not always deemed that Luke, Leia, and, and Darth Vader are just, oh, that's the old stuff. We don't like that's just like granddad stuff. You know, they're more worried about, you know, Kylo. You know, they want to make sure that these characters are evergreen and keep. And also, and this is the key thing for me, it's easier on the faceless characters, Darth Vader, Boba Fett, but on some of these ones, this thing about changing the actors and what they're going to do, you know. They don't want to lock themselves into this thing of like certain characters are never to be used ever by another character. They, they've shown it with Han Solo and Obi Wan Kenobi that actors, actors and actresses can change, and these characters are fluid and they're moving, and they're it, not everything is set in stone because they're going to want to remake Star Wars in about 20, 30 years' time. They'll probably just restart the whole, reboot it again. Yeah, they probably will. I'm not looking forward to that time, but they probably will. Um, while you were mentioning that, I actually had another thought on this as well, which is that um, when we say the movies are on hold or potentially on hold, what we're assuming is that means they're being canned, that they're not mm-hmm. being made. But that's actually not really what on hold means. Yeah. and. It's entirely possible that they are on hold at Disney, but it's really just the writers going, okay, we need to take a month break to yeah. refocus. Uh, we're kind of burned out at the moment, and this will give us a chance to look at things from a fresh perspective. And that that could be all that it means. Yeah. Uh, you know, the, you, you see this all the time on projects in the technical world where they just be like, all right, you, you're, you're roadblocked, you can't figure out the problem is, go work on something else for a little while, yeah. come back, and then maybe having refreshed, reset your brain, you're able to go after it again. So <laughs> what it boils down to is we really don't know squat yeah. about what's going yeah. over there. It's the fact that Lucasfilm have, have came out and basically said that, you know, enough, you know, they've still got lots of movies on thing, and this is just a route where I think they're just putting out fires because it, it kind of, again, it picked up, these kind of stories pick up steam and they you know they were jumping around and at the beginning of the week the fan you know, the fan group was just everything was just going up about them all and, and everyone's going you know and there's a lot of other people kind of sitting there going oh stop listening to all the trolls and all the people with the last jedi they we know i want it. i want these movies i do want them i yeah. i'm happy with it i enjoyed solo and it's, it's also sorry go ahead yeah it's that thing of don't let the trouble is again especially on the internet the the small numbers with the loudest voice can often become an echo chamber to making it seem that the mass public and the people um, aren't into things. And then for, I don't, I don't think that with I think so. I think Solo is going to pick up steam as it hits like streaming services and stuff. For people giving it, a, maybe that wrote it off and not going to be like, oh yeah, that's all right, and actually be a little bit more. Oh, that's a fun movie. Yeah, and we'll see because some of the the Star Wars movies. They last for a long time. Mm. Even the prequels still get aired mm. regularly, and they've got a bad reputation. And then there's secondary market mm. items. We've already got two mm. books based on Solo, or you know, mm. uh, built around Solo. Uh, we'll see more of them. It's entirely possible that you know the story of Kira and 
uh, her work with you know Darth Maul will end up being uh, the the lead into a comic series or a book series or something like yeah. that. Me and that did, all got set up by the movie. So. I did actually start reading the the last shot the 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 novel that just recently came out. Was Took that about- the yeah, the was one that, that the one that was uh, set in three different time periods? Yeah, with... yeah, Lando okay. and, and Han. And I, I've probably read about a third of it. Unfortunately, I was sat on the beach in Florida. I've been in the theme parks for days, and actually, I, I actually fell asleep. And I've never fallen asleep on the beach. And it was literally along the lines of, a, I don't know, if, yeah, the book. I don't know if it was hitting the same point in my head as keeping one of me go, but yeah, I, I didn't. I was planning on finishing the book that day and doing a review. And yet, no, that, that, I, yeah, no, I, yeah. So this isn't the point of this podcast, but no. I will say that that particular book, the one that takes place in three yeah. different time periods, is yeah. blah. I, yeah. I, I, I couldn't get into it. I found the entire plot to be kind of boring. Mm. That said, the other one, uh, which is kind of a prequel to Solo, uh, tells like the early days of Kira and yeah. Han, uh, was significantly better. Mm. Not one of the upper echelon books of, no. the, of the current continuity, but much better than mm. uh, than the other one. So maybe check that one out instead. Yeah. But moving back, mm. um, yeah, th- this all just reminds me very much of that comment that came out before Solo. Uh, I think it was maybe back in January or February, where somebody came out and was like, uh, my brother's cousins, whatever, saw a pre-screening and it was awful in a train wreck and Alden was terrible and blah, blah, blah. And it's just like, uh, stop. Just just stop. <laughs> you know? It, yeah. Yes, it's kind of one of those things. If, I, I mean, I still think this is all going ahead. This is a well-oiled machine. They know what they're doing. They're going to, you know, we know we've got at least half a dozen to a dozen Star Wars movies in the in the pro they're planning on you know this is a long-term franchise and it ain't going anywhere and these might be on hold but it might just literally be well they never officially announced they and i think they just might be tweaking them a bit but we'd love to know what you guys think let's know in the comments below or get in touch with us on social media on our facebook groups etc um james where can they find you find me heroiclegacy.com and i'm not like guys go check us out over at thiskingdom.com we'll be back soon laters later